In a few words, the Mictlan is the underworld of the Aztecs, a place where we all destined to visit once our time in this plane has expired, if, and only if, we die from natural causes. But if you wish to explore in depth this fascinating place, one of the pinnacles of Mexican cosmology, well in that case, you are watching the right video. Welcome to the Freak Archives. In order to fully understand the importance of the Mictlan in the Azteca culture, we must first explore the genesis of this universe according to the people that inhabited Tenochtitlan. The primordial gods of this thing we call reality were Omezihuatl and Ometecutli, who spawned four children, Xipototec, Tezcatlipoca, Quetzalcoatl, and Huitzilopochtli, who were given by their parents the power of creation. Thus, Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl were the ones to organize the universe. They set it up in a an horizontal and a vertical dimension, and they created gods to watch over these realms. The Mictlan exists in the vertical world, and the gods that look over it are Mictlantecutli and Mictecasihuat. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, everyone who dies from natural causes end up in the Mictlan. No matter where they stand in the social pyramid during their life, in Mictlan, everyone is equal. Now, to get to the Mictlan is further from our idea of eternal calmness and peace. No, before one can actually rest for eternity, one needs to go through a harsh odyssey through this realm. An odyssey of epic proportions, worth of its own video game. This place is made up by nine levels, organized like the layers of an onion, one over the other, over the other, over the other. You get the idea, right? The dead must venture from level to level to complete their greatest and last mission in this universe. This is obviously a dangerous journey filled with strangeness, and according to the Aztecs, the adventure in the Mictlan lasted around four years four years that started in the first hell called Itzquitlan, the place of the dogs. Yes, I said the place of the dogs. You see, this place was like you already guessed, filled with dogs. Dogs that will help the dead person cross a vast and deep river, but only if they had been good to dogs during their breathing times. In other words, during their lives. Those who had been dead to dogs. Well, karma will catch up with them in this first level of the Mictlan, because no dog will help them, making them wander for who knows how long in the vast river of darkness, where this ginormous iguana called Shashintonal lived. Those who were able to cross the river entered the second inferno, known as Tepeme Monamictlan, the place where the mountains meet, a place where literally mountains met. Imagine a Mario Brothers level, where you have to cross this great valley where the mountains crash against each other in intermittent cycles. Well, you had to be super fast to get through, let's put it that way. Then came Itztepetl, the place of the mountain made of obsidian. I hope we're saying that right. You had to walk the mountain, which was obviously extremely painful. The Aztecas venerated obsidian because that's what they used for the blades of their knives and sword. And that wasn't all at this level of the Aztec Inferno. Nope. If you were ever to walk the mountain without ending up with no feet, then you arrived at a place where mighty winds will strap you of everything you had on, and then they will send you flying to the next level, the place of snow, the Sehueloyan, where the dead will encounter horrific blizzards that not even the strongest Vikings will have balls to confront. Up next came Pancuecuetlacayan, the place where the humans fly like flags. Yes, I said like flags. This was a land with no gravity at all, just like the outer space. Right there, one will float, waiting, until a miraculous wind will carry you to the next level. Now, 
if you thought the dead had suffered enough already. You're wrong. One would arrive at Temiminaloyan, a place with hundreds, thousands of arrows aiming at you, flying towards you, to cause you, yes, more pain. It was said that all of these arrows were the arrows lost in battle, the ones that didn't get to reach their target. Then came the land of enormous jaguars, the Teyoyokwaloyan. The felines will catch you and devour your heart. Yeah, your heart. And so without a heart, you would arrive at a place of many dark rivers. There you wouldn't have the help of any dog. No, sir. Not this time. This place was, or is called, Apanowaloyan. And it was followed by the last level of the Mictlan. The Chikuna Mictlan. A place covered by fog. Which made the dead ones ponder and reflect upon their life. About their decisions. Their good and ill actions. With this, one dissolve in the fog to finally, just finally, rest in peace. So there you go. Now you know all about the Mictlan, the fascinating underworld of the awesome Aztecas. We would love to know your thoughts. Leave us a comment, good or bad, we don't censure here. Or do we? Remember to subscribe. We are a newborn channel. And we need as many of you as possible to like, dislike, subscribe, and activate the notification bell. See you hasta la próxima. Thank you for watching. This is the Freak Archives.